Okay, me, Z, back in Battlefield 4 Rush. And this time, I want to discuss <clears throat> a new ideal on Rush. <clears throat> As we all know, Rush is built off of you know, two comp stations, go destroy them, and you move on. But, the map, as y'all picking to show you, look how small it is for us. You really don't have any way, but one way to go to get to the comp. So you're kind of like a model mech. So it, basically they just stay back and shoot your ass and you're good to go. But what if the map was the same size as the map as Conquest Large? Okay, now follow what I'm, follow me on this. This is a kind of a long, long idea. Alright, you have the same thing as Conquest Large. You know, the map is the same size as Conquest Large. The difference, however, is there's only six comm stations. But... They're chosen at random by the system. One of them is chosen at random to be a, a uh, comm station that can be destroyed. And that only lasts for five minutes. After five minutes, you can no longer attack that comm station. Another one is chosen, and it repeats. Now, the reason why this would be better is, right now, we got a crap load of con campers. Alright? A crap load of them. Just camping. But, from what I'm talking about, you have to keep moving. You can't camp. So, it becomes one of those where camping doesn't do you any good. Because everybody on both sides has to move around. Oh, shit. He's gonna get me. Alright. Oh, son of a bitch. He was on the, uh, down there. But anywho, as I was saying, this way you have, the, both teams are mobile. Nobody can freaking just sit and camp. Now, the reason why I say you have six comp stations, and each comp station is only available for five minutes, because you make it so that the, the match is a 30-minute match. There is no tickets to expire, no you get, you know, you only have so many lives and then it's over. It's a 30 minute match. If the attackers can destroy all comms in 30 minutes, they win. If they can, if the defenders hold them, they win. You see, holy crap. Woo! Oh, I was going to say, how the hell did he just do that? My guys try to run him over. And... Oh, no, thanks. You could have rezzed me, but that's okay. Uh, anywho, as I was saying, you end up with a match that takes a lot longer. It's a 30-minute match. You have six comms. Each comm is vulnerable for five minutes. Now, don't say... Now, what I'm saying is, is that, like, in the first comm is not destroyed, you go to the second comm, you still have the 30-minute window. And in other words, if you do it within the 30 minutes you win if you don't do it within the 30 minutes you lose the whole beauty of this ideal is like I said you have a bigger map and you never no one ever knows which comp station is going to be up because they're completely random every time every map is random the other thing you do is you release you can remove the KD thing from the game there's no reason to have a KD in Battlefield Battlefield was an objective gameplay to begin with. It was all about objective gameplay. But once you added the KD, people stopped playing objectively. They started playing KD-wise. So if you remove that, you go back to the objective. Which is important. Because right now, the objective would be to me rest this guy. How did he just beat me? Wow. Okay. Anywho, so, you go back to objective gameplay. Also, if you go back to objective gameplay, you can go by points. In other words, if you make a kill closer to the objective, it's worth more points than a kill that is further away from the objective. You can do repairs close to the objective, resupplies, medic, revives, so forth. It all is worth more the closer you are to the objective versus, you know, you have somebody sniping... You have a sniping wars going on that have nothing to do with the objective. Woohoo! So what? Those 
those kills would be worth nothing, basically. What the hell? It's as simple as that. I don't know, it, it's probably not something that you guys have ever thought about, but hey, I'm putting this idea out there. So if you it happens to excite you, and you really want to do it, ugh. Okay, then you would actually, you know, let me know if you think this is ideal. Hey, let me know if you think the ideal is going to get better. If you got a ways to improve my ideal, hey, let me know in the comments. I mean, I think we need to improve rush mode. Rush has become basically camping mode. People sit on one side with mortars or UCAVs and that's all they do. And I've done it. Hey, I've... Because I've, I've, I've noticed that, hey, it's just not going to win. We're just wasting our time getting shot over and over because we just don't have the team to win. So this gives the map bigger. Makes it more useful. And a little, I think, a little more fun. If you want that truth. What the? Oh my god. He's just running around out there. But, yeah, it's one of those things that I think the game mode can be changed and made better. Right now, it's a good idea, but they haven't taken it to the max. They can take it, this game mode to the max, and it would be awesome. But those are my thoughts. I will see you later. Let me know what you think.